is Mike Kavanaugh with GayLifeNYC.org and HIVHero.org, and I'm here with the very handsome Brian Spitolnik. How are you? I'm very good. How are you? And you're Russian. Yes, yes. Well, my, my people. My people are Russian. Okay, that's awesome. And do you like vodka? I do. I really like vodka quite a lot. Yeah, I just had a shot, by the way. Oh, did you? Yes, it, it takes the edge off. Oh, okay. So morning. Yes. Good morning. <laughs> so uh, tell us about Chicago. This is your Broadway debut, right? Yes, Chicago is my Broadway debut, but I've been in the show for four years. So how did you get to Broadway? What was the journey? Uh, I grew up in D.C., um, and I started performing when I was four. I, uh, I followed my sister to a performing arts camp, um, and I just refused to leave. Um, okay. Did you have a dance mom? <laughs> no, not at all. Not even a little bit. But my dad was a performer growing up. I mean, he's a lawyer, but we would kind of uh, spend weeknights on the floor of this community center watching him rehearse. Uh, That's what I would like a lawyer that could entertain me. How about that for <laughs> earning your money? Okay, go on. Yeah, he's a good dad. He's a good dad. What happened? How'd you get your first Broadway gig? Um, let's see. I'd been in New York for two years. I'd been doing kind of a string of you know regional jobs. Um, and uh, I had been in for Chicago twice already and been cut. Um, and finally, my best friend uh, from who I grew up with, Ryan Watkinson, he called me and he said, hey, listen, I'm going in for Chicago tomorrow. What should I wear? And I was like, you're going in for Chicago? Why am I not going in for Chicago? Uh, so I had my agent call, um, and I, he like did some finagling. I got into the audition, um, and after a couple callbacks, um, I got it. All right, so, so a success story. So have a good agent. There's yeah. a lesson there, a finagling agent, I must say. Yeah. And we just uh, finished Halloween. Did you dress up for Halloween? I did. I was – oh, I'm a swing in Chicago. Um, and the two female swings and I, we um, hooked rope up to ourselves and a piece of cardboard, and we were swings. Okay. Wow. That's pretty creative. I like it. <laughs> I like it. I was Poseidon. I hung out with Mikey Cosmano. I'm going to show a picture right here. He was amazing gladiator, always handsome, of course. So, you know what? If you don't do Halloween right, I'm not going to know you. Just please, <laughs> please put some effort in. I only have now 11 and a half months to plan next year. That's right. That's right. It's never easy. <laughs> So, Brian, do you have any stupid people tricks you can do? I have one, and it's not very exciting. Uh, I'm sure it is. Come on. I have to stand up to do it. Can you do it? Okay. Cameraman, could you please? Oh, you know what? <laughs> that was good for me. <laughs> was, was it good for you? Oh, my God. I just want to do laundry on his stomach. What do you think? <laughs> how, how does someone – yeah, it's washboard abs. Oh, oh no. Uh, okay. See, I'm old. Maybe they don't say that anymore. <laughs> so how does one get abs like that? Uh, a lot of work. Yeah. I guess you don't get that from lifting pints like I do. <laughs> <laughs> Although I really do love beer, I have yeah. to say. Okay, I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I do. <laughs> He's young. Wait till he hits 40. Yeah. So not only are you a Broadway star, but you're, you do movies, and you were in a friend of mine's movie, Casper Andreas, the big <laughs> gay musical. How was that experience? It was wild. I mean, it was absolutely wild. We didn't really know what we were getting into. I mean, we had read the script, um, but you know, when we showed up on the first day, and they kind of put us in angel wings and booty shorts, and it, it, was, it was just a very, very bizarre experience. We would kind of uh, come to the set every morning and uh, not really know if all the crew was going to be there. If I mean, people... We had money stolen out of our wallets because, like, there was all these crazy, crazy things that happened. Ultimately, it was a fantastic time because, uh, I, I, you know, the cast was so fun to work with. Yeah, it's a fierce cast, by the way. A bunch of our Broadway heroes are in it. Brandon Rubendahl is in it. Uh, Daniel Robinson is in it. Marty Thomas is in it. If you haven't seen the Big Game Musical, please buy a copy. Don't rent it. Buy a copy. <laughs> So one of the things I love about you, Brian, is you're another one of our beautiful Broadway people that do Broadway Bears. Uh, tell us about that experience. That was an unbelievable experience. I had uh, I had always wanted to do it, and I had always been terrified. Um, and so the year that I did it, I did it with Mikey Kusumano, and um, you know these ridiculous pictures exist, so I'm sure you can find them. But I'm, I'm painted head to toe green in you know a green thong, and it was just it was so much uh, the vibe 
backstage was not what I expected. It was so much camaraderie, and, and you're really there for a good cause. It's not about – well, it is about getting naked, but it's not solely about getting naked. Um, it was wild. I had so much fun, and I would do it again for yeah. sure. We have pictures of him in all green, by the way. We're going to show right now. So tell me, uh, did you get past the part about being a stripper and having people putting dollars over which wear? I was nervous about it. I was really nervous about it. Um, I didn't know how it would feel once I got out there. Um, but, you know, you get into it. You, got, you kind of just go with it. And, um, you know, if, if people try to touch where they're not supposed to touch, then you kind of gently guide their hand away. Um, but mostly people are respectful. And mostly, you know, I kind of kept seeing crowds of my friends being like, what are you doing? You're green. You know, and, and, and that was, and that to me was much more, I don't know, that's what I took, took away from it. Well, listen, it's not easy being green, <laughs> but <laughs> if you're Brian, I bet he was very popular. So can we expect to see you again doing this? Uh, I hope so. Maybe not green, but, you know, if they want me to be, I guess I would be. Okay, it's my favorite part of the interview, Brian. It's the either or, so let's hope that I don't hit you in the face. Just say whatever comes to mind as soon as you can, okay? Okay. okay. Dinner or amusement park on a date? Dinner. Taller men or shorter men? Tall. Movie or reading a book? Book. Summer or winter? Winter. Mal or wild in bed? Wild. Gaga or Madonna? Madonna. Naked or PJs in bed? Naked. Boxers or briefs? Briefs. Cocktails or beer? Beer. Brains or beauty? Brains. Okay, yeah, they all say that. Cand <laughs> candlelight or in the dark for sex? Candlelight. Older men or younger men? Older. Clubbing or hanging out with friends? Friends. And being naked or anything else? What? <laughs> Basically, he was supposed to be being naked. If you look like that, just be naked. That's all I have to say. <laughs> so, Brian, you're a handsome man, but what's quirky about you? Quirky about me? Um... I really like to read. This is stupid. This is dweeby. But I, I really would rather be reading than doing anything else. Is really? that quirky? I think that is amazing. As a matter of fact, I have a Kindle right now. I do some of my best work in the bathroom, and I have my Kindle <laughs> right there, <laughs> just so you know. What What do you like to read? Uh, really anything. Um, I like I like the classic novels, uh, but uh, I like nonfiction. Anything that's a biography or a uh, history. Okay, perfect segue here because you are a graduate of Columbia University with an MFA uh, in nonfiction writing. That is pretty amazing. So brains and beauty. Tell me, what are you writing? Uh, right now, I have a few things going on. Um, the first thing that I'm really excited about is this column I have for a website called McSweeney's. Uh, and it's a literary online magazine, but uh, I get to write about being a chorus boy uh, all year, twice a month. Uh, they have me under contract to kind of write about this very bizarre world that we live in. Okay, we're going to plug that, so we're going to put it right down here. Like ma It's like magic. What uh -huh. is that called? <laughs> oh, McSweeney's. It's uh, the Chorus Boy Chronicles. McSweeney's.com? Uh, McSweeney's.net. .net. See, I'm glad I asked. Yeah. Net, com, org, you never know. Yeah. So you got to be careful about that. Okay. Um, what else? Uh, I'm writing a book about uh, post-traumatic stress disorder, which is <laughs> something that is not, uh, not terribly jaunty, but it's, uh, it's important. It's an important subject. And that's kind of what I got out of nonfiction at Columbia. Um, otherwise, I'm working on a few plays, and it's just, it's fun. It's fun. So, Brian, you know, in a world where AIDS is still on the rampage and people are getting it, do you have any message out there about being safe and being protected? Um, I think, yeah, I think we're living in a time where, uh, luckily, the, the fear of the virus has really subsided, um, and I think that there are pros and cons to that. Um, I think that people need to know that it's still a risk, that you can really still contract uh, AIDS or HIV, um, but it doesn't mean that you can't go out and have fun. Um, so I think that the message would be um, continue to go out and have fun and live your life and be free and um, experiment sexually and... Uh, but use a condom. I mean, it, it's you, there's so much there's so much you can do. Use your imagination, um, and uh, have fun. But be safe while you're having fun. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing: is a lot of people just don't want to know, and that's the wrong way of thinking. By the way, a lot of people are walking around and don't even know they have the, the disease, and that can be deadly. So you have no no excuse not to go get tested. On our website, we have plenty of places that are confidential. All you need to do is do a swab in your mouth, and you can find out. 
and there are so many treatments and so many ways that you can protect yourself and others and be have live a normal happy and wonderful life so please do that for us So, Brian, I want to thank you so much for being our Broadway hero for November, for fall, which is unbelievable. Please go see him in Chicago. It's an amazing show. See all my friends in it. It's great. Thank you so much, and have a wonderful autumn. Thank you. You did the same. Thanks. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brian Spatolnik. I'm so happy to be your Broadway hero of the month. Happy November and happy Thanksgiving. Um, come see Chicago. We're still at the Ambassador Theater 15 years later, still kicking it, still sexy. And everyone out there, please remember to play safe, have fun, and uh, live your best life.